Vaccine pricing at private hospitals in India is uh, emerging as a huge cause of concern. The price uh, of uh, Covaxin, which is now particularly high, it is the highest in India and is the third most expensive vaccine in the world. This despite the fact that Bharat Biotech had said uh, that it will be cheaper than a bottle of water. And this is the vaccine, remember, that was developed in collaboration with the government agency ICMR. Well, Vishnu has the details. Is it right to start wondering if a company is making a profit or profiteering? If you take a look at this chart and let's have that up uh, full, uh, full frame for a moment, then in uh, rupee prices, in rupee prices, the uh, Sinopharm is priced is the most expensive. It's a Chinese vaccine, followed by Pfizer, followed by Covax. And this, of course, is not the price to the government. This is the price to hospitals, private players in the country, which has been capped by the government. But, you know, when it comes to an Atma Nirbhar solution, the fact of the matter is that this may be Atma Nirbhar, but it is certainly expensive. And the reason I say this is why don't we compare it with some of the other vaccines we make in India now? The Universal Immunization Program procurement of pentavalent vaccines this year will be at the price of 17 rupees 37 paise for a Serum Institute and Biologic E. Just think about it. These are complicated. 17 rupees 37 paise. And this was how much? More than 1200 rupees. Another example. The price of measles vaccine supplied by Serum Institute to UNICEF, which is also a live vaccine, 39.6 US cents, that's 30 rupees mm -hmm. a dose. Therefore, a price of 1,200 rupees for the inactivated COVID vaccine is very high, particularly since the government was also a partner in having organized trials. But it's difficult to say. A right. company can say, look, we have incurred these huge costs, huge facilities. We will never know because it is opaque.